What's up guys, it's GSA Specialist and today's the day. Battlefield 2042 Season 2 Master of Arms is now playable, so let's take a look back at how far the game has come. and Russia are both being accused of fielding armed NOPATs in an escalating fight over vital resources. With Master of Arms dropping today right off the heels of the first season, I'd venture to say fan opinion is improving alongside the game. With the game launching in an abysmal state during October of last year, EA DICE made the call to delay content and focus on quality over quantity with the first season. With this came a swath of new hires, departures, and restructuring where we saw the game's lead designer Fauzi Mesmar from Candy Crush quit DICE, EA called the game a failure, and new talent like Halo's co-founder Marcus Leto be brought in to start a new studio just for the Battlefield franchise. For the most part, Season 1, Zero Hour did a good job of focusing on quality. As much as Season 1 was rightfully criticized for lacking content, it more or less anchored the core loop, went back to refresh vanilla content, and started to tighten up the game's tone. With the game receiving its first refreshed vanilla map in the form of Kaleidoscope, new animations and visuals for the specialists, and a big fix to aim assist, in addition to hundreds of smaller fixes, the game is in a much better position today and is much more prepared for players to return alongside Season 2's content. On next-gen consoles, the game is much, much more stable, aside from the occasional yet severe graphical error, like flickering or maps loading incorrectly. And with the addition of small quality of life improvements like in-game chat, the game plays much more like what you would expect from a AAA full-priced title. However, this many months in, and there are still notable issues such as mouse input on PC still being broken, in-game squad management being nearly non-existent, and the lack of a server browser. The good news is, however, that DICE appears to be willing to tackle these core issues in the future as the studio is about to restructure the specialists into traditional classes come Season 3, while at the same time focusing on bolstering content via Season 2. Season 2 will be launching today with a new infantry-focused map named Stranded, two new ground vehicles, three new weapons, the addition of concussion grenades, a new specialist named Crawford, a new battle pass, and the introduction of assignments to unlock portal weapons in All Out War. Over the next few months, we'll see the addition of a remastered Renewal and Orbital, new community spotlight modes in Portal, and the continued addition of cosmetics added to the store. The devs say they are still focused on quality, but do seem to be getting into gear as the game has been further stabilized, players are returning, and fan sentiment grows positive. However, as DICE continues to improve the title, it puts the franchise in a strange position as EA looks to get bought by a larger company, has deemed the game a failure, and has begun to ignore Battlefield in their investor calls. As much as I am excited for this new season, and I see fans returning so much so the Season 2 trailer was on YouTube North America's Top 10 Trending, I can't help but feel the rug will be pulled out from under us just as the game becomes great, much like what happened to Battlefield 5. DICE appears to be learning, and whether EA has turned a blind eye or is giving in to fans, the game is improving into a better consumer product for the core fanbase. 
I'd hate to see all this hard work, learning, and improvement all be for nothing nine months from now. But in the meantime, Battlefield 2042 is in a much better state because of Season 1, and Season 2, Master of Arms is hopefully where the real fun begins. A lot more content, repairs to the base game, and rebuilding of the core systems are great fan-focused improvements that are coming for free while fans can still buy premium battle passes or cosmetics if they wish. If you haven't played in a while and you own the game, give it a try. The new content is free, so come take a look around. The game is light years ahead of where it was six months ago. For everything else Battlefield, stay tuned and subscribe, drop your comments below, and as always, thank you guys for watching.